That's good news. Swing and a miss again. And Holman dispatches Curly. You see experience. Swing and a miss and a fastball up. Second K for Holman. Well, no surprises here. Just what we said he was going to go use up the fastball up to get to the slider. So back to back sliders, and he just takes a fastball right above the top of the zone, and nothing Haven can do with it. Alabama uniform. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball. That is on point for Holman tonight. He strikes out the side in the first, working his way around. And Caglio hit by pitch. LSU come to the plate. 2 2 to Pearson. Fought that one off into left field. Tommy White around third. They're going to wave him home. The throw from Shellnut gets to the plate. The tag is late. An RBI single for Josh Pearson, and LSU strikes first. Ground ball through the hole on the left side. Jones be waved home. The throw from Shellnut is cut off, and LSU takes a 2 0 lead. Strike three. Fifth K for Holman to go against those two strikeouts. Well, the good ones, guys, can find a way to elevate their game when it matters most. A guy over at first base. Holman hasn't pitched to the inside part of the plate very often, but perfectly. You see Hayden Trevinsky sets up right on the inside part of the plate and says, give me that heater right here and well executed by Holman. Again, the payoff. Got him looking. Strikeout number six, six outs, all of them via the K. And Luke Coleman flirted with some trouble and reached back and got another K, two not the Tigers. Through two, it's just now we understand why the balls move like they move. There's a breaking ball and strikeout number seven with the throw down to first. There's plenty of swing and a miss on the off speed pitch. I mean, I'd be third full count of the inning. Shelton swings at the fastball and it's strikeout number nine. Just three off of Holman's season high. Back when, when we talked about, and the NCAA said, hey, exit VLOs are a little bit high right now. It's getting to be dangerous. Well, we're back in that thing. Double digit strikeouts for Holman for the. Oh, as you guys know, put in some rule changes last year, sped the game up a little bit. Braswell lines this one into left. He'll motor his way to second. The throw from Shellnut. Is a hair wide, and it's a one-out double from Michael Braswell the third. And, and and so going back to that point, you know, it's uh, you take a look at Michael Braswell, who, you know, Jay Johnson totally broke down. Braswell comes from South Carolina, was there for two years, played shortstop, pitched his first year, a little bit of a reliever as well. And Michael Braswell had the best batting average in fall for LSU. Jay Johnson got him on campus, totally broke down his swing, told him, I'd like to have you here at LSU. That was, a, that was washing crawfish right there. So they catch him and they wash him. They Holman. wash him up real good and they ship. LSU this year. 3-2 again. Chop to the left side. Here's Tommy White. And the sixth is complete. A career-high 13 strikeouts for Luke Holman. And an isolation from the home crowd here at Alec Box Stadium. Major season. And this ball's launched into center field. Guy racing into the gap at the track at the wall, and it's off the middle of the fence. Headed to third is Travinsky, and that's all the farther the catcher will advance. LSU has loaded the bases with nobody out in the sixth. On uh, the second hit of the game for Ethan Fry in just his fourth start of the season. It's a fair amount of chance. Uh -oh. Well, this one's launched deep to left. It is caught at the wall by Sheldon tagging from third Pearson. And if the wind is dead or not going that way, that's a four bag. Well, th there was a slider that was in the zone. And Slater's lucky that that one stayed in the ballpark because it's just enough off the end of the bat. I think Paxton Clink still thought he got enough of it. So the 10,000 plus that were standing behind it, but deep enough to score a run. So have, have been positive this year. Chopped to third off of the glove of Thomas and a run scores. We talked about positioning yeah. over third base multiple times tonight. That's the very ball that Kevin O'Sullivan was talking about is the ball. You said it goes dirt to dirt so often just because it's it's hard out in front of home plate man. And, and so if you're playing close to even with the bag right now it's going to get over your head. Thomas just not playing quite deep enough. Had to backpedal it even if he gloves it. I'm not sure if he's got the ability to 
make the throw over. After a rough start last weekend at Mississippi State, Luke Holman had it going. And I mean, spin him if you got him. He had that breaking ball going, both of them. He did exactly what we thought he would do. He used his fastball to the upper part of the strike zone, and then he was able to come behind that with some really good breaking balls. The slider was good, and he showed us a really good 12-6 to six curveball. Only gave up one hit. That one hit he gave up was a solo home run to Ty Evans. Walked three, but punched out a career-high 13 tonight against the Florida Gators. Smacked up the middle and gloved by Herring. Great reaction. And a missed opportunity for Florida. Instead of a base runner on and Dale Thomas coming up. Well, pitchers are always the best athletes on the field. And this is another example of that ball almost behind him. Mm -hmm. Nice snag. I would like to see him just kind of take a little step toward first and throw it over there instead of running it over there. Chop to third, Tommy White in fair territory. What wow. a play. Came wow. here to prove that he could play defense, and after his so so year last year, Ben, he's been stellar this season. I tell you what, he put on a show last weekend at Mississippi State, and Tommy White wants to show the pro scouts and everybody that's watching, yes, he can play third base at the big league level. And it's hard to argue. Beautiful backhand side of short hop and a rocket across the diamond to get LSU off the field. Where was that debut? St. Louis. A punch out for Griffin Herring. That is the 14th strikeout for Florida batters tonight. Uh, Curlin's gone down all four times. First three times up was swinging. This time, break ball the inside part of the plate. Florida needs him to hit. And he took a fastball off that front hand. You can see the pad he's got on it right now. What's six? Six, six is you like, can't believe you're still in the game. Yeah, six, you go home. Six, you go home. Others. Swing and a miss in another strikeout. Herring K's the side in the eighth inning. Florida batters have struck out 17 times tonight. LSU leads by four. Pass Caglione and into right. Another RBI for Mac Bingham. And he's in his second base. LSU extends the lead to seven to one. Scratch that six to one. I got ahead of myself. Well, Jay Johnson pushing the right buttons. Sacrifice bunt, get a runner in score position. LSU been pretty good. Up the middle and off the leather. Toss over to first. Both runners are at third. They're going to try and throw behind them. And we'll get a rundown between second and third, and that will end the game. Base running mistake is kind of adding to Florida's woes on a night where they only managed four hits, which is a season low. And LSU takes game one of the series. We will see you again Sunday with this trio. Tomorrow you can enjoy the.